Hey there everyone, it's Jen here, the Diamond Painting Gamer. Very, very warm welcome to my channel. And uh, yeah, I look back at what I did diamond painting wise in April. Yeah, today's the 29th of April. Uh, I don't think I'll have another diamond painting finished by tomorrow, so <laughs> I'm filming today. Um, before I get started, I'm pretty much moved into my new um, craft room. I have managed to pinch the small bedroom and I'm set up as my craft room. So we're getting there slowly but surely. I uh, still haven't quite sorted out the um, lighting issues. That's a work in progress. Uh, this is only the second video I've shot since I've moved. So yeah, it will be a work in progress. Um, However, I have got a new stand, so no more wibbly wobbly camera angles for the moment, anyway, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, um, starting off as per usual with the April uh, image on uh, the Diamond Art Club app, um, calendar. So we have got March, April. And April was these gorgeous tulips. It's been so long ago since I've done them. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering, uh, wondering, hmm, did I have any issues? I don't think I did. I don't think I did at all. Didn't run out of anything, plenty of everything. Um, I did find the basket quite tedious. Um, yeah, lots of very similar colours there. And uh, yeah quite tedious doing that doing the flowers were fun though so very spring like i do like tulips i do like tulips yeah not much more to say about the basket of tulips really i like the blossoms around the outside as well very pretty we've got apple trees in our garden crab apple trees and they have kind of blossoms a bit like that Anyway, that was April. Uh, May is uh, image is going to be this one, Super Mom, Super Mom. <laughs> if you're in the states, um, I imagine that's because in the US, May is um, Mother's Day, or Mother's Day falls within the month of May. Here in the UK, it's March, but I don't think it matters really what month of the year it is, or day of the year it is. You know, if you're a mum, you're a super mum. Does it regardless of the day, the week, the month, the year? Kenny's hearing me talking. He's meowing at the door. We're just going to try and ignore if we can, unless he gets really, really narky. So what else did I do this month? Um, I've only completed two diamond paintings, but they were both pretty big. Um... So the first one finished was Cruella. So I'm going to zoom out and we can get a good look at her. Maybe move my coffee down this way a wee bit. And scooch that up. As you can see, I've been moving my bits and pieces in here. Don't move that too far, it will tip off the table. Right, so there we go. We have Cruella. Now, this came from Treasure Studio Art. Um, at the time of recording this just now, their website is still um, not up and running again. I think they're going through a big revamp. Um, but it is... Uh, oops, this is a bit mucky. That's what it is. It is a Lizzie Falcon. It was 50 by 65 and uh, it's round and this has been sitting in my stash for a couple of years so it was good that i pulled it out um no issues with the working this up uh, i did get a little bit bogged down with the black here an awful lot of black uh, and the greys so the tops of like section the tops of third of the canvas 
was all very very seamy and it was kind of a bit of a bind to work through but um it was kind of worth it once i got down to this sort of like these sections down here now i did say when i unboxed this i was going to do um uh, put some enhancements and stuff in it uh so what i decided to do was in the eyes there were two or three different shades of blue in there uh, what i decided to do was uh, just to make them all the one shade and i've used blue crystals let's zoom in and i'll show you okay so her eye here all that blue bright blue section there it's all blue crystal Okay. I also put enhancements in in her lips. Um, I don't think they're very obvious, however. Um, I did have a 666 red and I had a 666 red fairy dust from Diamond Art Club. And I swapped them out like for like. So replaced all the 666 reds with the 666 red fairy dust. Um, so all that bright red there is actually fairy dust diamonds. I don't think it picks it up very well. Um, I mean, yes, it's a lot more subtle than AB, but I can't really tell the difference between it, between it now it's been actually placed on the canvas compared with a regular drill. In her dress, though, let me move this back out again. In her dress here, um, again, as well as having the 666 in Fairy Dust, I also had 666 in ABs. So for this one, I decided to swap out again, like for like, the 666 um, red uh, regular drills with the 666 ABs. So that's a lot more noticeable. You can see that here and here, down here and along here. So not much in the way of enhancements that I've added into this. I suppose I could probably have put a little bit of white streaks through her hair with some white ABs. Um, but uh, I decided to uh, make her eye and her lips and her dress stand out a little bit more instead. There is a bit... Um, round her shoulders here and here it's not quite so obvious when you're looking at it through the camera so you probably won't see it very um, as much as I will I'm sorry I'm going to have to adjust that it's a wee bit wonky um, but the, certainly at this part here um, that I can looking at it with the naked eye about a foot away from it I can't see any sort of distinction <coughs> between the background and where her shoulder is it just kind of merges into one if you like um perhaps you know through the camera it does look a little bit better and when i step back mm, i can't really see the difference either so so yeah so I, i'm not liking um, the kind of rendering down here where the shoulder is, it does seem to sort of like um, lose a bit of definition. Saying that though, um, it is a stunning piece. It really is absolutely gorgeous. Don't you think? It's, I've got a couple of other Lizzie Falcons in my stash. Um, again, from Treasure Studios Art. And I'm, now I've done this one. I'm looking forward to doing the other ones. Canvas was super sticky. As I said, I think it's, it. Um, I don't know what they use nowadays, but certainly I think when I bought this, they used what's called mounted glue. So it's super sticky, like, um, like double-sided adhesive, but um, you know, it had the clear cover on it, uh, like with uh, poured glue. Um, it was, yeah, but it was, and you can't roll it like you would do a poured glue, so you've got to be quite careful. But um, it was it's a joy to work on. It really was. 
you know, the canvas itself and the drills and the image. Okay, so that is Cruella and the little bits of extra that I did on her. Uh, let's put her to the side and uh, we'll get out the other one that I finished. So the other canvas that I pulled out was um, this one here, which actually came from um, the uh, My Craft Joy, My Craft Club um, uh, unboxing that I did. I think it was either January or February. I can't remember. But this is like a really recent addition to my stash. So when I pulled that out, it was, it was good because I thought I pulled out an old one and I pulled out a new one. So... Everything's getting a bit of a fair shout. I love my random picks. It just, you know, it's, I don't know what I'm getting. As I said, I could get something from way back two, three years ago when I first started, four years ago when I first started, um, right the way through to something that I bought just before I finished, um, just before I started my no buy, should I say. And I couldn't have asked for a more perfect canvas in a way given the fact that there was the previous one that I did, Cruella, lots of greys, black, <laughs> white, off-white. Yeah, it had its pops of colour, but yeah, it's all very uh, similar, um, basic colour palette. Not a lot of colour in it. These little kittens, however, that are as cute as two little kitty buttons, um, you can get more spring-like, super colourful, lots of blues, teals, uh, lo loads of different shades of greens, yellows. Um, these wee guys have turned out absolutely brilliantly. Um, I had gone off choosing or having animals as one of my choices towards the end of getting the Minecraft Club uh, boxes. Uh, basically because I was finding that their animal images were, were to my taste, a bit too cutesy, a wee bit too chocolate boxy for me. Um, I like my animals to be, you know, rough and rugged and <laughs> realistic. Um, but it, there's no denying that, that these two wee guys are super cute. They really are. A um, little bit of uh, background to this one, it was a 40 by 50 centimetre uh, diamond painting canvas. It's a round and it had 42, so not 42 colours, 40 colours. So yeah, lots of rounds I'm doing at the moment. Lots of rounds. Um, as I said, lots and lots of greens in here. This wee guy here, all this shading here you never believe it it's purple it's um what color was it was it 550 i think it was i think that was a 550 purple all around there and when you get up close to it you can see it's like 550 purple but i mean through the camera and when you step back <laughs> you don't see it at all definition's pretty good uh, you can't deny it um butterflies here here a bit blotchy um these ones up here are a little bit better but you know it's a smallish canvas um, yeah <laughs> both cruella and this one are true to size so when i said cruella was um what did i say cruella was 50 by 65 it was that was the image size this one 40 by 50 that is the image size so yeah larger canvases this month okay what do you think of my little cute kittens they are gorgeous aren't they very spring-like so because i've only got the two finishes i thought i'd show you my progression on um, steadfast heart which was the most recent random pick that i did so okay here she is so she is looking really really nice 
um now i can't remember who it was i am so so sorry but um i know that somebody commented on my unboxing of this that they have this in their stash and they were really really keen uh to see how it was going to turn out uh can i say it is absolutely amazing absolutely amazing so um i'm um more about approximately two thirds of the way through i'm, I'm over halfway through so her eye oh, well, look at the eyes on that tiger look at that really super intense stare it's absolutely amazing um at the time when i was unboxing i was talking about the ab's <laughs> placements in the face um now but i was going to trust the process <laughs> as they say um i'm kind of a little bit more open to this now and i think it's just because of this type of painting i mean a lot of this all over her face here it's kind of got that kind of look that it's maybe distressed um and i can see how that can work here with the ab's a distressed look with light glint sh shining on it i've seen a few paintings like that on diamond art club's website where you've got that kind of um you know you know the art is is uh, presented in that way so so i'm kind of with it and don't know about st i'm still out to lunch about the orangey bees on our face because it looks really 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 weird <laughs> out of the cat you know not out um not through the camera this looks really bizarre um so i've got just got this much to do still so not too much more i think another couple of weeks and i'll finish that but i think i'll probably do another random draw before i finish it um as well but the, I, i'll go through this really really quick um it looked initially like it was quite confetti heavy but it's not it's not not at all it's uh, actually got a significant um, amount of areas where that I can use a multi-placer. And the other thing as well that I'm going to say about this painting is I think, not I think, when I unboxed it, I did mention about Diamond Art Club rounds. And when you look at the canvas, it always looks a wee bit off <laughs> compared with what it would look like drilled up. <clears throat> so... You can see the two sections next to one another there. I'll zoom in. Got a little bit of a glare there, so I apologise. But you can see, hopefully, you should be able to see that the drilled area here, um, yeah, comes up really nicely and it looks very different to the, the undrilled area. Very different. Okay, so we'll pop that on. Uh, just out of um, interest, if, if anybody um, doesn't know how I tend to tackle big canvases, I'll, I'll let you know now. I have, I have spoken about it before in the past. Um, what I tend to do on these larger canvases, oh, this is a 56 by 74 centimetre, by the way, this one, with 66 colours. So, yeah, big canvases, what I tend to do is I tend to start up in the top at the left-hand side and then I will go across and then I will go across and work my way down. And I use the release papers as a guide um, for, for each section. So, let's move the cover minder slightly. Don't know where I got that. I think it might have been Diamond Tribe. I think I might have got that from Diamond, either from Diamond Tribe or out of, a, no, I was about to say, or out of a DAC box. No, now I'm thinking about it, I think it's Diamond Tribe. Okay, <laughs> what I tend to do is I will section off the area like this. So I'll put the release paper underneath. And then this one here that's next to I will match up here so that I've got a, a nice little sort of rectangular area. And then what I'll do is I'll drill this area here 
and then I'll move on to the next one and move on to the next one and so on and so on until I finish the painting. Um, this one isn't a massive painting. I mean, well, 56 by 74, it is tended towards the larger side, but it's not super massive. So when it comes to my big Josephine walls, this is a godsend to do it this way because it makes things a lot less intimidating. Anyway, let's put this back on. I'll be doing this later on tonight after my tea. And I've lost the I've lost the magnet. Where did it go? Where it is there? There we go. Pop it there. Okay, so that is it for April. Let's go back out again. Now, I, I think this is going to look a bit wonky, so uh, we'll see what it looks like in review. I'm not gonna when I when I edit I'm not gonna film it again. This is a, this is what I did in April. So we've got this so this far on um steadfast heart. We have our cute little springtime kittens from um the Minecraft Club um subscription box. We have got Cruella with a little bit of extra bling from um Treasure Studios Art, an old one. And then last but not least, of course, oops, we had had our Diamond Art Club um, calendar image as well. Okay, so um, yeah, that is it. Um, what one is the favourite? Well, move this out of the way. There's only really two that I've done so far. Two that we need to vote on. But what was your favourite for um, completion that I did in April? Cruella or the kittens? Cruella or the kittens? You know, I quite like my kittens. I didn't think I would say this. Cause, you know, when I unboxed it, I was like, me, me bit too sugar cookie sugar cookie sweet for me those kittens but by it they are gorgeous i think this might, one might be my favorite <laughs> of out of the two anyway thank you very very much for watching thank you for giving me some of your very precious time today um i've got some bits and pieces coming up uh next month um I'm, as part of my rearranging my uh, and get my craft room sorted out i've also been um rearranging and sorting out all my diamond paintings that I've finished and uh, sorting out some you know better display books and, and whatnot so I've got everything in and ready to go through and sort out all my diamond paintings that are 30 by 30 centimeters or less um, at the moment I'm cutting the edges off the everything so once I've got all that ready what I was going to do is I was going to um, I do a video of uh, me organising my uh, diamond paintings or a series of videos organising my completed diamond paintings. I'm going to start off with my with my 30 by 30s. So I have a little look out for that, which is going to be coming up this month. Well, not this month, next month, May, later. Yay. Um, OK, so that is it from me. And uh, thank you once again. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video, guys. OK. Cheerio.